those of us experiencing the phenomenon known as the Mandela Effect has, have been able to move past this single verse theory. At least I have. I'm sure a lot of you listening have as well. But there's a large number of people who can't even imagine it. They like to say, oh, well, just because Mr. Pen Pennybags on the Monopoly box doesn't have a monocle anymore doesn't mean that some type of magic happened. <laughs> there's no magic. Magic doesn't happen. The unthinkable does not happen here on planet Earth. You're just clearly misremembering. Or possibly having a logical fallacy. Or maybe even a cognitive illusion. I mean, illogical sequences happen all the time. Our, our memories are so horrible. I mean, heck, millions of people who don't know one another, who all remember the same incorrect information, might all have early onset Alzheimer's. And just instructions from authorities this is the emergency broadcast system this is not a test something very strange is happening around the world where almost half of the population say they remember things in the past from a different timeline. As if two timelines have bridged together to form something that half of the people say was always like it is today, and the other half saying that it was not like it is today. So for those of you who don't know, it appears we're using quantum computers or D-Wave technology to be able to change our Bible supernaturally. That's what we think they're using. But no matter what they're using, it's black magic. And it's really unbelievable because our Bibles are changing supernaturally. Every translation, various languages. I can't say every single language is being changed because I don't know. But I know because I hear... From many people across the earth that say their Bibles are changing.
Hey everyone, this is Kat at Extol Yeshua, always on YouTube, and I have some um, an update to the project that Kathy Wellman has put together regarding the flyer distribution. And on her website, which is actiongroup1.blogspot.com, you can actually find the flyer that she's created in English as well as other languages. So here it is in English. And she spent a lot of time on this, and I'm so thankful for what she's done and what she's doing because she's also translated it into other languages. So you can find this flyer available for download right now on her website in Spanish, German, French, Russian, Swedish, Japanese, Italian, and Hebrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I'm really so thankful for her work. And I think this can be a great resource for those of you in other countries and those of you who live in a community where other languages are spoken. Children of all ages, John Ringling North welcomes you to the greatest show on earth. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at some facts and figures, <laughs> um, just because we can. Populations by country, okay. This is from 2015, so it's you know it's not bang up to date information, but it's pretty pretty recent, the last year or so. Uh, most populous countries, okay, by rank: China, one billion. One and a third billion there. India, one and a quarter billion there. And then number three, USA, uh, around about a third of a billion there. Okay. Now, look, the world population. Now, these figures will all have gone up slightly in the last year or so. Like I say, this isn't bang up to date information, but it's pretty close. I think we can use this as. A reasonable guide, I would say. So, total population seven and a quarter billion. Now, if you add China and India together, you can see there you're going to get a figure well over 2.5 billion, and in fact, over 2.6 billion, okay, which is over a third of the population of the the whole planet, just China and India, combined populations of over a third of everyone on the planet, according to um, this resource here. We're going to have a look at this list and in a little bit more depth now. Okay, so we've got a list here. It's quite interesting. World's 50 most populous countries, 2015. They are July 2015, so a little less than a year and a half ago. And like I say, most of these figures will have gone up slightly. Okay, so let's have a look at the English speaking countries. You've got the USA, a third, roughly a third of a billion English speaking countries. Now we have to go down this list. The first language, English. Okay, we're going to go down this list. Uh, okay, UK is the second with 64 million. Now, I want you to bear in mind what this 64 million looks like in comparison to, say, for example, China. It hardly scratches the surface, okay? Even if you combine the USA and UK combined, you're going to get roughly an adjusted figure of about 400, 400 million, which is hardly scratching the surface of this. Okay, especially China and India combined. So let's carry on. 
where were we? UK. No, South Africa. I know there's probably quite a few in first language English speakers in South Africa. But again, let's have a quick look. Okay. Population. Okay, this is the information down here. Uh, we have to go to more facts and figures. South Africa. Okay, languages. English, 9.6%. So not a great, not as many as I thought for, these will be first language speakers, I imagine. Or maybe it combines first and second language speakers. Yeah. So let's call that roughly 10%. So 10% of that is nothing at all. It would be about 5.3, 5.4 million. Let's carry on. So South Africa, Canada. Now I imagine there's a lot of French speakers in Canada, but I imagine the majority of this figure would be English speaking, let's just check. And again, we're going to have to go to more facts and figures there. I'm imagining this is going to be way over 50%. Well, not way over. Look, English official, 58.7%. Okay. And then French is a big percentage there. And then there's a whole load of minority languages in Canada in Canada as well okay so you can get a good idea really that even if you combine the English speakers of South Africa Canada and the UK it's not bringing this figure including the USA up too much I think in total, if you went through this top list of top 50, well, these aren't English speakers here at all. Morocco might be. You're going to find it hard to push this figure up to 500 million. I do believe the percentage of English speakers in the world is roughly about... Uh, first language English speakers is roughly about 14%. Um, it's not a great big figure, okay? We can even check the states here, look. What percentage of people in the states would you say? Maybe about 81%. Okay, so even this figure is not a 100% figure for first language. I'd imagine... With second languages, you're going to push that up into 90-95% people speaking English. Maybe higher than that. Probably higher than that. I don't know. But um, even in total, first and second language, or all English language speakers in the world, is less than 27. I think it's about around about 27%. And when we talk about second language speakers... We are really talking about, because a lot of my, or a lot of people here in Brazil would consider themselves second or third language English speakers, but their English is about as good as my Portuguese, which I can use to communicate on some level, to go, go and do day-to-day -day things, shopping, conversation, etc. But to have in-depth conversations on important things such as politics, religion, those kind of things, to have a real in-depth conversation, it's not really that possible, okay? We need to find out now if the Mandela effect really is this. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be global. If people are talking about converging realities, things changing on a quantum level, which would be 
the level of information as it as encoded in DNA. That's what we're talking about, yeah. Then it's going to affect these huge populations here and some of these other huge populations Indonesia, Brazil, Pakistan, etc. Okay, so let's have a look then. So the Mandela effect that's in Chinese there. Simplified Chinese. We can check this other Chinese as well, the traditional. We can check both. Um, I know I do understand Google Translate is not the best. Well, it probably is the best actually, because uh, I've tried using other um, translate search um, websites which aren't great either. Okay, so let's have a look. So that's the simplified Chinese. We've done a search there. You can see there are things coming up in Chinese. Okay. Um, you'll also notice there's things coming up in this description in English. The Beatles, the Beatles, Fiona Broom. But what we need to look for is actual Mandela effects as it affects the Chinese people in their culture, in their day to day lives. In their geography, in their religions, etc., in their politics, in all the things that it affects English speaking people, or it supposedly affects English speaking people, we need to find the evidence in these huge populations of China and India at least. Okay, now my browser is asking me if I want to translate this. Yes, I do. I'm not sure what this what this website is, but we'll translate this. Okay, this is looks like it's some kind of monthly uh monthly kind of mag online magazine kind of thing, online journal. It's got stuff about the Hong Kong politics there. Occultism. Okay, so you can see this is Definitely a China, a Chinese based website. So this has been a, translated into English by my browser, which is Chrome. I guess that's controlled by Google. I don't know. Data from the ma maternal confusion, the Mandela effect. Let's see what this article is saying. Okay, something about the Beatles. Obviously, that's an English language. Thing there. This is all about the Beatles never broke up. Uh, James Richards, an American. James Richards, who lives in California, uh, he's got a website about the Beatles never breaking up. He thinks they're still alive and kicking. Uh, and then you can go on. You'll see this web, this article here is all about stuff going on in the US NASA uh, I don't know what that is carries on about the Beatles more stuff about the Beatles the Mandela effect okay the term Mandela is just talking about Fiona Broom. So this is all regurgitated from US media. It's talking about the Bernstein Bears. This is not the Chinese people saying, talking about Mandela effects in their country. It's talking about NASA stuff, Mars, the Sun. Once was white, not now yellow. Uh, you've got to understand it's a rough translation. New Zealand is near Europe, not Australia now. Sri Lanka. This is all regurgitated stuff from the American media. And by that I mean the alternative media, the Mandela affects people, etc. Katie Perry. Katie Perry's name is Kate Perry. Hurricane Katrina, etc. Okay. Let's go back here. 
This looks like it's pretty much the same thing. Red the Beatles, Peony Broom. We do need to try and find some Chinese Mandela effects, okay? This doesn't have any English here, so let's check this out. Or well, maybe it does. Let's check this out anyway. 2011. This looks like it might be interesting. Did the Chinese discover the Mandela effects before the Americans did? Uh, give me, there we are, translate. Funny little snow scene there. <laughs> Don't think of China as being a place of snow scenes, but obviously they must have snow as well. Here we are, different from the reality of memory. Let's have a look what this is. Search into the esoteric. Okay, this is a modern, I mean modern, I mean a recent article there. Looks like it's the 25th of November 2016 there. It's just a few, that's a week ago. Okay, American movie, Brad Pitt, 1994, interview with the vampire. I asked what the English title of that is. So they're not saying the Chinese has changed. They're asking about the English title. So that's a regurgitated American Mandela effect there. There you are. You can see it's we're talking about the English there. Uh, Forrest Gump, again, not a Chinese movie. Sex and the City, or Sex in the City, whichever way you re remember it. <laughs> Obviously these things are all dubbed and translated into different languages for different countries. Looks like Chinese are getting a lot of American garbage there. So obviously the Mandela effect is of some interest to those looking into kind of esoteric occultist things like this website. But it's all English stuff. Why, why is this website not talking about Chinese movies, Chinese politicians, movie stars, names changing, yeah? Oh look, more American garbage, more American garbage. So I'm not saying that to disparage American people, just then culture, <laughs> just, the, just the consumer culture of America there. And I, by that I mean all consumer culture. Okay. Kellogg's. Look. Where are the Chinese company logos and brands that are changing? It's all Western, Northern Hemisphere garbage. Ford logo. There's stuff here that's not loading up very quickly. Look, Sarah Lee. Is this Chinese? No. I think you get the point, yeah? Nothing, absolutely no Chinese Mandela effects on this site. Okay, no idea what this is. Obviously, this is a Chinese website again. It's probably some sort of journal or magazine. It's taken a little long to translate for some reason. Or even ask me to translate it. I don't think it's going to let me. Translate this page. There we go. Let's try and translate this, see what this is about. Okay, so this is saying what the Mandela effect is. Nelson Mandela giving you giving the Chinese people a lowdown on Nelson Mandela. A little bit of his history there. 
Okay, talking about guess who? Fiona Broom. Talking about Dragon Kong, Dragon Kong, similar to the Hong Kong anime show. I'm quite sure how that is. Uh, okay. That's it. It's just literally about Nelson Mandela and this idea that he died. He was dead, but the timeline changed. So you got one Chinese girl talking about Mandela. But where did she get this idea? Yeah. Well, she got the idea because this person is talking about Fiona Broom, who was the person that claimed this. So no Chinese Mandela effects. Look, I, I'm not going to go through all these. I would have thought by now if there were Chinese Mandela effects or Chinese people noticing their realities changing, their universes colliding, etc. Why isn't it here? Mandela Effect Bible. Okay. Again, we're just using the simplified Chinese at the moment. Okay, let's see what we get. Consider the Gospel in English. I haven't translated this page yet. Okay, but it's giving us some English here. Oh, it's got it in all the languages there. That's interesting. Uh, let's see if we can translate this. There we are. Approaching God. This is a website to help you learn about God. Good. Okay. Okay, this is this is basically the gospel. You can see the references to Romans chapter ten there. Jesus is the bridge between God and man. So this is the gospel on this page. Let's just shift this over here so we can look down the sidebar here. See if there's anything here about the Mandela effect. It's just the gospel in different languages. Afrikaans, English, Indonesia, French. Romanian by the looks of it. Or something. No, this is nothing to do with the Mandela effect there. Something about Nelson Mandela there. Well, we're going to have to check a few of these, okay? I've got a feeling <laughs> this is nothing to do with the Mandela effect. <laughs> Ah, okay, Mandela grass. The reason I said I have a feeling is because there was a picture of a, a plant here. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Nothing at all to do with the Mandela effect there. This is all about... It's mandrakes. See these mandrakes? Weird things they are. Which is called Mandela Grass. This is nothing to do with either the Bible or the Mandela effect. Uh, but there is some stuff about witchcraft connected to these mandrakes. Okay, I don't know much about it. And I don't really want to. Okay. 
But there you are, you know what to do. If you want to research mandrakes, just put in the Chinese for Mandela Effect Bible and you will find a whole ton of information on mandrakes. Now, where was that thing that was talking about Mandela? Nelson Rolilala Mandela This is like a Chinese Wikipedia page Oh, his, look at this His Excellency Nelson Mandela Highly esteemed in China, huh? This is, Wik this is Wikipedia in Chinese This is great <laughs> Uh, so let's do a translation then, see what this is about. There we are. Aha! Aha! Mandela. Nelson Ma it's just Mel Nelson Mandela. Nothing to do with the... Oh, hold on. Table of contents. See if there's something about the Mandela effect here. No, I don't think so. Nothing about the Mandela effect there. But that is very interesting that the Chinese hold, held, and still hold probably Nelson Mandela as His Excellency. Wow. I never knew that, so that's interesting. You learn something new, they say, every day. Okay, so what we're going to do, rather than waste more time in this, because we're not going to find anything. It's really clear. Someone who wants to prove the Mandela effect can go through all these links. They can prove that there's some people in China that are saying Chinese culture, Chinese geography, Chinese history, Chinese politics have changed. Fine. That will add a little bit of weight to a rather flimsy Mandela effect, if, uh, effect, deflect, def deflection, you know, defect. So let's get rid of, no, let's not get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. The biggest language in India, 41% of speakers, is Hindi. Hindi, there we are. Okay. Mandela effect, okay. We'll do a search in Hindi. Now what we're expecting to find here really is you would imagine that because so many Hollywood movies are changing, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, that you would expect to find a whole ton of Bollywood movies changing, right? That's what we're looking to find. Something like that. Something in Indian culture, Indian Pakistani culture, to show that the Mandela effect is in fact real. I'm not going to click on that. Well, we can look at that. Yeah, let's have a quick look at this first then. Something from the BBC. Something to do with sports here. Nelson Mandela's impact on sports. Nothing to do with the Mandela effect at all. Absolutely nothing to do with the Mandela effect back then. Okay. But let's ignore that then. There, let's check out. That's BBC as well. Let's check this one out. Web Dunia Hindi. Some sort of Hindi language website, hopefully. Okay, 2016, 2nd of, that's probably today, 2nd of December, I imagine. Something to do with Mandela. Let's have a look. Will this translate for me, please? Okay. It's just a story about Nelson Mandela. What you'd expect to find, yeah? You do a research, search for the Mandela effect, and you're getting all these stories in Hindi about how Mandela affected 
affected or affected uh, politics, sports, etc. Exactly what you'd expect to find, yeah. Because there's no Mandela effect in India or China. <laughs> this is exactly what you would expect to find. You put in Nelson Mandela or M Mandela effects, yeah, in these languages, and what you're getting is stories about His Excellency Nelson Mandela, how he affect, how he. Uh, influence sports, how he influence politics, etc. That's exactly what any rational, sane-minded person who has the firmament, the the sound mind, yeah, it's what you'd expect to find. There's nobody saying, you know, why are there like hundreds, why are there thousands or tens of thousands, yeah, in this huge, massive country? This huge population. Why aren't there thousands and hundreds of thousands of blogs, of YouTube videos, of journal stories, of everything, Facebook posts, of these people saying, yeah, the, my favourite Bollywood movie changed, yeah, or my favourite book changed, or the Bible changed. Or the shop, the massive supermarket chain down that is in every city. In uh, in India, has changed its logo. Yeah, supernaturally. Why is no one talking about D-wave computers? Why are people not noticing any changes in any other parts of the world apart from the English-speaking countries? Yeah, because you cannot get the Mandela effect people to show anyone in South. America, in Africa, in India, in China, in Russia, to show you where, how this Mandela effect is. It should be affecting everyone. If it's multiple realities, yeah, if it's alternative realities and universes colliding, should, it shouldn't just be affecting English speaking people, primarily in North America, should it now? Yeah? <laughs> They're fooling you. They're taking you for a ride. If you believe this Mandela effect nonsense, garbage, these people are taking you for a ride. Now, let's have a quick look for Mandela effect Bible in Hindi. And I'm not going to spend too much longer on this. You'll be very pleased to know. There you are. There's the Hindi translation. Again, I can't guarantee this translation is spot on, but it should be good enough. For a Google search, let's have a look. See what comes up. Mandela effect Bible. Okay, uh, something coming up with American Bible there. Let's have a look at this. Looks interesting. American Bible Society. Um, nothing to do with the Mandela effect. Nothing to do with the Mandela effect there. Let's try this. Okay. Now this is obviously this is Hindi. This links to different languages here okay i think this is this is very similar to that other chinese site we went to yeah but let's just have a quick look this is going to i know what this is going to be it's going to be the gospel of jesus christ in hindi hallelujah uh gospel of matthew okay and something Something about the good news there from Matthew. Let's have a look. Uh, okay. Nelson Mandela has died. This, this is strange. <laughs> it's very strange. Any Mandela effects? 
here Abraham's complaint God's promise you know what this is nothing to do with the Mandela effect Bible changes nope Whoa, lightning strike there look, look at that see what this might be something to do with the Mandela effect who knows let's translate yes please something here look Mandela what spiritually uh, spirituality Mandela what is the impact how to control a person psychically this might be something to do with the Mandela effect Ah, a love letter to God as the scriptures. This, ah, uh, look, this is about the Mandela effect, is it? Who knows? Um, Don't think so. Nope. Nothing to do with the Mandela effect. And to be honest, the author Scott Newton Smith doesn't sound very Indian, really, does he? Let's check this out, Mandela. What is the impact? Just in case it's a Mandela effect. Mandela, what's the impact? Our perception of our belief system acts as a filter. Is this about the Mandela effect? It is about the Mandela effect. Okay. Finally, I believe this is a huge rabbit hole Mandela. A huge rabbit hole Mandela effect. <laughs> okay. That's not exactly pushing the Mandela effect then, is it? Tales from the dark side of the previously mentioned case. His friend Jeff, who Kate is how reality works, trying to appear as a result of any and all expectations that he would speak. His is to clear the mind. Only then could be a possibility. You've got to understand this is a very bad translation from Hindi to English. Finally, I believe that is a huge rabbit hole Mandela effect. I know we all have the power to shape our future. Wow. This is Gnosticism at its finest. But at the same time, I'm very concerned at those in charge, puppet masters. Uh, okay, so this is just Antichrist propaganda. Where are the examples of the Mandela effect? No, look at this. Look at this, yeah. How to control a person psychically, Jupiterian transit and business cycles. <laughs> yeah. Endless Pie and Sign series. A toll on your mental and physical health problems. It's just nonsense, okay? Absolutely no examples of Mandela effect. They're just talking about the Mandela effect, this guy's obviously heard something about it. Let's have a look at this guy. Is it this guy, Scott, whatever his name is? Oh, no, it's not. Let's have a look at who this author is. No, there's nothing there. Look, okay. Well, look, that gave it away for me from the start that this wasn't a Christian page. So no Christians talking about Bible changes there, look. You know, I'm going to make this the last one. We're hitting the hour mark. I'm going to have to edit this down, make it try and make this a 30-minute 
uh, film, if possible. But I, as I'm researching this live now, I've hit just about hitting the hour mark on this. So that's why I'm getting a little bit tired of this, really. Okay, so let's see if there are any Mandela effects in these movies. I've said about Bollywood, it's important to find Bollywood changes. If the whole Mandela effects thing with Hollywood and American movies is going to stand up, it would have to affect every film industry on the planet, including the hugely massive Bollywood industry, which is much more massive than Hollywood, by the way. Yeah, Just by the number of studios and people involved. It's just that we haven't heard so much about it. Okay. Translate the page, please. We've got some sort of disclaimer here. Mahatma Gandhi. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's this then? What have we have here? Sorry about the bad language you can see on your screen. Just a load of comments. Uh, okay, it's just a, it's a review of. I think the Gandhi movie, probably, possibly. I don't know. Um. Okay. Oh, we'll go. We'll do one or two more. We've got to find something in India to prove the Mandela effect. Otherwise, we can safely say there is no Bible changes in India or China. They're not really hugely populous countries as far as Christianity goes, but got to prove all things, right? Because people who are saying yeah, the Bibles have changed in all languages. Where's your proof? Where's your proof? Yeah. <laughs> there is none. There is none. That's the point. Translate this. Don't know what this is until it's translated. Okay. I bet these are books of the Bible. I bet these are books of the Bible, yeah? I reckon this must be the New Testament. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 27. 27 books in the New Testament, right? Aha. Okay, these aren't Bible books. <laughs> I thought there was 27. How many? I thought that was the New Testament. 27 books, right? No? Am I wrong on that? Yeah, I've just counted in my Bible. 27 books in the New Testament. I thought there was. 27 boxes. Now, if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, obviously, I would have bet money on that. <laughs> but I'm not a gambling man, so I don't do those kind of things. But, um, yeah, no, these aren't the books of the Bible. So let's have a look what this website is. It's some kind of encyclopedia here. Involving mechanisms. Okay, this looks a little bit interesting. Could this be about the Mandela effect? Quantum theory. Okay, looks like we got something here. Are we going to actually see some? Well, I can tell you straight away, this is not about the Mandela effect. It's about quantum physics, yeah. Um, this is Eastern mysticism, basically. I'm pretty good at scan reading. I'm just looking for some key words. Uh, no, this is a cross between psychology, Eastern mysticism, and quantum mechanics. Nothing to do with Bible changes. Or any Mandela changes. Something from 1999 there, that won't be. Okay, look. We have searched for Mandela Effect and Mandela Effect Bible in simplified Chinese, which is the most, which is common Chinese basically. It's the language that, it's the main language of China. With the, the 
younger people are all speaking in China. I know there's many different dialects and different languages in China, but simplified Chinese is, if anything was appearing online in blogs, etc., it would be in simplified Chinese. In Hindi, which is the by far the biggest language in India, again we search for Mandela Effects, Mandela Effects Bible. Where are all these company brands changing? Where are the movies and the movie industries from those countries changing? Where are the Bibles or any scripture in those languages changing? It's not happening, folks. It's not happening. Yeah, let's go back here. Okay. Now, I was hoping, I'm not going to go any further with this today. I was going to go through the Spanish languages, which I might do in another video. But clearly, look, we've gone through China and India and looked at really, there's a third, over a third of the world's population there not reporting any Mandela effects whatsoever. Whatsoever. Okay? None at all. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. Zero. <laughs> okay, so these people who are pushing the Mandela effect in the English language are lying to you when they're saying it's global. It's universal. It's ridiculous. It's not at all. Never was. Never has been. No, never will be. <laughs> never was, never, never has been, never is, never will be. Okay? It's an all American psyop. Yeah? And you can go, I, you know, I challenge these Mandela effect people to go through in all these languages Russian, Brazilian, Portuguese, Indonesian, whatever language they speak there. Okay? Go through the languages. Find, find them. Find, find, find the blogs, the YouTube videos. Yeah, the Facebook, uh, uh, posts, whatever. Or whatever social media people are using, Twitter. Find it. Find it and show it. Prove all things. Can't be done, can it? Can't be done because it doesn't exist. Yeah, and I say that with all sincerity, folks. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Children of all ages, John Ringling North welcomes you to the greatest show on earth.